welcome to the conclusion of the potting mix test here at Madison Citrus Nursery. This test has been going on for, I believe, six or eight months. Uh, these were grafted Harvey lemon trees. They were grafted um, 11, 12, 23. And then they were put into different soil mixes so that way we could test kind of the mixes against each other to see if we could recommend one soil over another, maybe find some big box store mix that you could buy locally without having to purchase a lot of soil and uh, have it, having it all shipped because it's bulky and expensive. So this first pot is gonna be our Harvey Lemon with our Madison Citrus mix. And I'm just gonna show you the trees. And then my assessment is they're healthy trees. There's a couple in the back that look like they've got, they were just duds or smaller growth. There's a couple in the back there that are similar. Um, but overall, I'd be happy with the trees. The miracle Grow Moisture Control, which is a mix that a lot of people don't like. Um, it honestly grew some decent trees. Now you can tell that there is some nutrient deficiencies in the trees. Now these were all uh, either fertilized with slow release or they were also fertilized within the water. So every time we water, these all get fertilizer too. Um, miracle Grow Palm and uh, Cactus Citrus Mix. Honestly looks the same for the most part as the moisture control. This one in the back has got some decent branching out the back, but you'll see again, there's definitely some nutrient deficiencies in them. But those are those three mixes. Back here, we've got this 511 mix. This is the 511 mix with the 911 added, which is our nutrient pack. 511 with uh, 1366, so additional fertilizer as a starter charge. And there's the 511 with 911 and 1366. And then this one over here is Stay Green Potting Mix. I believe that one's from Lowe's. It's amazing how slippery it is in here. So this is the 511 mix. Um, again, some decent growth. Looks like a little bit of nutrient deficiency. But overall, they grew. There's a dud there. And that one in the back is a little bit sparse. But with the added nutrients, again, decent growth. These ones happen to grow a little bit wider. Um, some smaller ones, I guess. One smaller one in the back. This one's actually pretty big. This one is the 511 with just the starter charge. More branching. A little bit shorter of a tree overall. And then one in the back is a little bit small. 511 with the 911 and the 1366, which is again our just our granular fertilizer. Beautiful looking trees, lots of branches. Again, a couple smaller ones in the back. This one is the Stay Green from Lowe's and some really large branches. Not really any duds at all, um, just some really big trees. There's the fertilizer that we use coming out of that hose. So that one's got the fertilizer that we've been adding to all of these. So. I may get some more commentary that I'll put in the description from Herschel, but I wanted to show you what the results look like. Let me get down. You can see the size of the trees side by side and just kind of overall assessments with the back row of the 511, 511, 511, 911, very similar. Um, maybe a little bit darker green with the 911, maybe a little bit more branching, but all of it works. The 1366 added to the 511 and then the 1366 six added to the 511 with the 911 so basically just the added fertilizer those trees are a little bit shorter but it's noticeable that they've got more branching a lot more branching to them and Herschel said that the trees with a little bit more fertilizer are going to have a little bit more branching instead of just straight growth which makes a denser tree so I guess that would make sense and again these ones over here they're the biggest trees with a bunch, which is the stay green that you can get at Lowe's. Not a whole lot of branching, 
Um, so maybe they could use a little bit of more fertilizer, but it doesn't look like the potting mix is really an issue. miracle Grow. I think a lot of people try to stay away from miracle Grow in general. Um, it looks like they're growing decent trees, but it does look like they're nutrient deficient, and they're really the only ones um that are really showing that those two and then just this one tree with 511 is showing it although it looks a little bit different um i guess there's two but other than that i mean they're growing and they're growing fairly well and i would imagine it's because they're being fertilized um and they're being fed everything with liquid fertilizer too with uh i believe there's micros in there too and then the madison mix got a lot of branching a couple smaller trees in the back these bigger trees in the front So overall, I don't really know how conclusive the soil test is, but we wanted to bring you the results because we had them. Uh, again, miracle Grow, you may need to do something with some added nutrients, although we've been adding them, so I'm not really sure what those issues are. I mean, they're growing. It's just they're uh, not presenting well. Stay Green from Lowe's, I would give it a thumbs up. Um, I would use it. It's definitely cheaper than getting other mix delivered to you or buying a whole bunch of parts and trying to make something. 511, um, 511 has always been known to work. Our issue with it, or one of the main gripes for us, is that it's a sterile mix and it doesn't have a lot of the nutrients. You've got to add them. So by adding the nutrients, uh, you do get some smaller but more dense and more branching trees. Um, those work too. Again, we fertilize a lot. So take from this what you will. Uh, if I had to pick a couple of the winners, I would say the Stay Green. Uh, I would say the 911 with the 511. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the 911, 511 with the 911. The 911 fertilized. And then up here, I would say the Madison mix is probably presenting the best. Um, and then the Miracle Grows would be behind that. But anyhow, that's the results for now. Um, honestly, we think that maybe fertilizing in the water might have skewed some of the results in general, even though they were all treated the same. So maybe we'll do another test in the future. I'm not sure. Uh, and with those, we might just use a granule fertilizer. That way they all kind of get the same treatment. Um, but we'll see what happens. Until then, this is the results of our potting mix test.